What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Doing an Armagnac review today. I have gifted to me by friend of the show, Brian Page, the Damblat Armagnac Napoleon, 10 years old, 40%. Uh, thank you, Brian, really appreciate this. Going to savor that over the holidays for sure. Over here, I have an art series from Valentin Mallet. Valentin Mallet is an Italian bottler. If you've been watching this show for a while, you know who Valentin Mallet is because I've been reviewing a few of these. Uh, this one is a Domaine de Chiron Armagnac, 30 years old, bottled in 2021. It's 47.4% at cast strength. That's the gold label on the front. And this is the artistry at the back. All right, here's another look at it. So gonna review both of these, taste them, give them a mark. This one over here is about $80 at the LCBO and at 10 years old, that's a great deal when you're talking the brandy category. Uh, cognacs that are VSOP tend to be three to four years old. Many XO cognacs are not even 10 years old. They can be as young as seven years old. So gonna nose this one, taste it, give it a mark. Really nice. This is uh, my third experience with this. All the beautiful flavors that you would get out of a cognac. And I guarantee most people that are, consider themselves cognac drinkers would mistake this for a cognac for sure. The only difference between Armagnac and cognac, of course, is that Armagnac is from the Armagnac region of France, whereas cognac is brandy made in the cognac region of France. Beautiful grape juice kind of note on this. Nice raisin kind of note as well. Very rich. Fruit cake as well. A little bit of vanillas in there. Overall, really, really nice on the nose. Palette. So, Although super nice on the palate, I wish it was a little bit more ABV. But that being said, the viscosity is there. I'm not sure if there's any added sugar, color, or anything to this. But based on the price range and the taste, the quality here, the zero heat on the palate. I know it's only 40%, but still excellent stuff. If this is all natural, this is a wow brandy for me. Um, very, very nice all around. Like I said, I don't know if there's any Boise or color added or maybe even a little bit of sugar. Um, sometimes they use, beet, they use beet sugar in cognac. I'm not sure if that's allowed with Armagnac as well. But really nice tasting and for the price, I don't think you can go wrong at 10 years old. Uh, gonna have to give this one an 86, it's really nice. Uh, thank you again, Brian. Beautiful stuff. Moving over to this cast strength, single cask, 30 year old Armagnac, so 20 years older, higher ABV, not really a fair comparison, uh, but it's the only two Armagnacs I currently have, so I figured I'd put them together and give you guys a bit of a range. This one's gonna be a lot harder to acquire, whereas this is on shelves pretty much everywhere, and probably for a lot less than $80. LCBO tends to be a little higher than everywhere else. Beautiful nose on this. The color is insane for natural color. I wonder how charred the cask was used for this. Usually it's new oak, new French oak for that matter. 47.4% um, is a col column still if that means anything to anybody. Wow, the nose is incredible here. Again, with the fruitcake, uh, the cooked down grape juice, lots of dessert-like flavors here, or at least aromas. On the palate, just incredible viscosity. A little bit of like a cherry cough syrup kind of note. Similar to the note I get with the Cavallon Virgin Oaks and even some Four Squares, 
which is interesting because I just named three different categories. We're talking Armagnac, rum, and single malt, but it's amazing what those virgin oak casks can do to a spirit. Beautiful viscosity, really rich in flavor. It's got some nice, almost like a nutmeg, cinnamon, um, fruitcake. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Walnuts are in there as well. Very little heat, if any, at 47.4%. Really nice, honestly, very, very nice. Um, changed up the angle a little bit today. Before I give these a mark, just gonna give the quick explanation. Um, I'll probably be turned the other way. There's a custom fish tank coming on this side of the bar very, very soon. So maybe for most of my lives, I'll be pointing on the angle. I'm gonna try to keep the regular direct um, angle for when I'm recording my regular videos. This is an Armagnac video, so I thought I'd switch it up a little bit. We'll see how it goes. So, as far as Mark goes for this Valentin Mallet, beautiful bottle. Honestly, I'm gonna have to give this a 91. Really good stuff. There's days where I thought it was even higher than a 91, so uh, bear that in mind. It could probably improve with a touch of water. Don't need it, though. Um, I got about a half a bottle left. I'm gonna savor this with some family over the Christmas holidays, but both excellent expressions honestly uh every armagnac i've had so far has been awesome um they're definitely cheaper than most cognacs i would put this right up against the 50 year old cognac that i reviewed last year and give the slight advantage to this uh, armagnac so uh, take that with a grain of salt because i haven't had an enormous amount of cognacs and armagnacs but i will say i do love them and some of my most popular videos on this channel are cognac videos uh, that you guys can go through if you like. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.